Oh, it is Chris and Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks, and today is Valentine's Day. And you can tell by my crazy uh, hearts over my head. I am making my favorite chicken dinner, and this is called Chicken Francais. It is a uh, meal that we used to get at a restaurant, and it has a lemon butter mushrooms served over the top of some really good seasoned fried chicken. And you're talking about delicious. It's way better than chicken and waffles, so y'all give it a try. We're making my favorite chicken dish ever, and I'm going to start by dropping a stick of butter into a nonstick pot. We're going to make some mushrooms and put some lemon in there that's served over the chicken. I just turned on this frying pan, and once it gets good and hot, we'll add a little oil to it. Okay. Now, we are going to season this chicken with salt and pepper. Go ahead and season it good. I'm not going to flip it and season it on the other side. So just do a good job. Now you're going to use some onion powder. And you're going to put a little onion powder on it. Now, this is a, a video that I did a couple of years ago. Y'all, this is my favorite chicken dish, and it only got 12,000 views, so I sure hope people watch it this time because they are really missing out, y'all. It's so good. It's so good me and Chris are having it for Valentine's Day. And my powder down here is stuck together. This is roasted garlic powder. So you put just a little onion powder, just a little roasted garlic powder on it. We're using white lily self-rising flour to make it good and crunchy. So all I'm gonna do now is put some egg on it and then we're gonna batter it and fry it. Now my chicken has been sitting out about an hour. So it's nice, it's not real cold. So it should cook up pretty quick. So it's not gonna take a long time to cook your chicken. Now these are pre-washed mushrooms and sliced. So we're gonna add them to our stock pot with the butter. So we'll salt and pepper these. Get a little onion powder on them. And then um, we'll be putting some lemon juice in there too. But first we're gonna cook them down some in this uh, butter. Looking good. So we are gonna put a lid on it and that way it gets hot quicker. And you want the, their juices to turn from cloudy to clear. So they're gonna have some juice in them. And once they start getting hot, you'll see it get down in the bottom of the skillet. So we're gonna go ahead and drop our chicken. So I'm gonna put my oil in here, and by the time I get my chicken battered, it'll be ready. So that's already hot. So let's batter it up. So this is the just an egg beat up, a couple of eggs. And they usually make more than this. So there's more egg and stuff than you really need for just me and Chris, but, and flour, but I'm going by the recipe. I'm used to making this for a crowd. Last time I made this, I made it for my sister and her kids when they were here, it was so good. So do a good job battering it up with that flour. Get plenty on there. Really press it into the chicken. And if you're using self-rising flour, there's really no reason to double dip it and batter it twice. It's going to be nice and coated. You do a good job pressing it on there. 
Last piece. Now for your chicken, if you'll notice, this is not real thick chicken. I take a knife and I run it through the middle of the breast and I separate it so that about the thickest it is is about three quarters of an inch. So you don't want real thick pieces. We're gonna set this as hot. And because my chicken has been sitting out, it should not cool down the grease quite as much as it would if I hadn't had it sitting out. Chris, can you turn up that eye a little bit? Just turn it up higher. There you go. Last piece. Fit in there just right, didn't it? Do you want to? I just didn't wind up cooking as much as I normally do. Do what else? Do you want to time this? Yeah, go ahead and put the timer on four minutes, I guess. Now, I'm going to open this up and you're going to see how much juice has come off those mushrooms. You're going to want them to cook for a while, so turn them up. When all that juice is in there, that butter ain't going to burn, so you can turn it up. That's just juice from your mushrooms. All vegetables have some water in them, okay? So you need to turn it up and let them really start boiling good to get all that juice off of them. Uh, until the juices turn from cloudy to clear, salt and pepper the chicken, Sprinkle it, blah, 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 blah. This says fry it three minutes aside. That's what I was thinking. Place in a dish and pour hot mushrooms and butter on top. Squeeze two lemons on top of the chicken and the mushrooms. Mm. Garnish with lemon slices. Mm. So let's go ahead and um, juice a couple of lemons. while we're waiting on this chicken to boil and the mushrooms to get done. Now you could just squeeze it over the top of them, but these are kind of uh, firm lemon. So I thought I'd do it this way and I'd get more out of them. So what we'll do is we'll squeeze the lemon over the top of the chicken, but we're gonna pour this into our mushrooms. So we'll use one for the top of the chicken and one for the mushrooms. Them lemons were mostly rind and hardly any lemon. Hmm. What a rip off. What a rip off of a lemon. All right, they've been in here three minutes, so we're gonna flip them. Yeah, put this one in first. Okay. Put that in first. This one? Yep. Perfect. Then this one. Mm -hmm. Boy, it looks good, don't it? Mm -hmm. Now we're going to flip this one over. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put three more minutes. Now, Remember that the timer for three minutes is uh, not very long. So, if you're going to cook it like me, you need to make sure that your chicken is not thick, okay, or it ain't going to be done. I chopped up strawberries, and I added a cup and a half of sugar, and I put them in there for three minutes. And so, when I do strawberry shortcake, I like to take my strawberries... Add the sugar, microwave them a little bit, um, let all that sugar melt. And then I put this oh, get back in the refrigerator and chill it. So if you want it to cool off quicker, you would just take them, put them in a couple of pie plates. You can never have too many pie plates. You see, I've used 
five already just doing this today. And then you can slide them in the refrigerator and then this will get chilled quicker. And you can see we've got a cake right here and some Cool Whip, so I'm gonna make a strawberry shortcake for dessert. I'm gonna let them sit on the paper towel, but for, not for long, because you don't want the crunch to go away. What? Looks good, don't it? Oh, that looks good. Mm. All right, now we're just waiting on the mushrooms and the broccoli. Now the mushrooms, you can see, have turned clear and it's mostly butter again. So they're pretty much ready. So we're going to add the lemon juice to them. Some of that pulp in there. Now I like to make my baked potatoes in the air fryer. It makes the skin toasty. They're really good. And I have a kasori. So I bake my potatoes with the chicken setting at 380 degrees. For 25 minutes and I run it twice and boy look how nice and good and done they are and that that skin is so crunchy you can smell it it smells so good and if you want to you can butter them and put a little bit of uh, salt on the outside of them, outside of them so it's 50 total minutes yeah okay and sometimes they're done quicker than that it's just according to how big your potato is so after, um, I turn them over, and then you can check on them during that last 25 minutes because it is possible that they'll be uh, done. We're going to put our mushrooms on here. And look, these mushrooms are delicious. Really good. If you want the butter on your plate to be running on the plate, and we we get this at a restaurant, and I just could just tell by tasting it. I felt like I could make it, so it is so good, ain't it, Chris? Delish. My favorite. Now, y'all know what broccoli is, so I'm going to use the broccoli to plate this. So, I'm just going to taste the chicken real quick and let y'all see how good it is. I'm going to use uh, probably his plate. So, we'll, we'll use this. Take a bite off mine. I'll use, oh, wait. i got to put the lemon on it. Yes, make sure you squeeze some fresh lemon over the top of it before you eat it. Boy, it's good, ain't it, Chris? Mm -hmm. Yummy. Now I can get a bite. It's delicious mushrooms, chicken, lemon. Mm, mm, mm. I would take that over a steak any day. I know I'm weird, but this is my Valentine's Day, and boy, is it good. So we'll see you next time on Colored Valley Cooks, where we're cooking like our mamas did. And I'm going to tell you, if you try this recipe, please put it in the comments because you are going to love it. See you next time. Love ya.